Bam, live and direct. Live. Welcome back to the fucking barbershop, my brothers. Hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> Ben Frank here. It's your boy, Big Ranger. And we're live again. Friday night, you know the vibes, right? Fifth episode of the Barbershop Chronicles. Yeah, what can we say? We made it. Thanks to all the supporters. Listen, before we, we do anything, non-subscribers that are watching our videos, it takes about two minutes to make a YouTube account and click subscribe. Guys, all we need is more subscribers. Get me to 1,000 and I'll start dishing out the hats. Yeah, I make promises, <laughs> but I keep my promises. I keep my... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, yeah. Bear man are waiting for hats. Don't worry, the hats, Clayton, your hat's coming as well, bro. Don't exactly. forget. The They're, all the They're all getting made. They're all getting made. But hold tight the guests in the house. You know it's the barbershop, so you know it's Friday night. We've got people in there coming to get their fades and their braids. Ooh. You know the vibe. Big up the crowd in the Make place. Make noise. Make some noise. Mad week. It has been a mad week. Do you know what? I'm going to let you kick off. How has your week been, my brother? Oh. <laughs> Boy, let's not even get into too much detail. My, my week's been hectic. My week's been really hectic, to be yeah, fair. Talk to me, because literally, I, I, I've lost count of the amount of phone calls I've had aired by you this week. Yeah, but it's, it's understandable. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I'm, so I'm trying to, to stay under the radar, man. Trust me, I've got the MI5 after me and them things. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all different kind of... Yeah, trust me. You know the one day I'm keeping it PG, mm. car. you never know who's watching. Do you know but listen, like, anyway, back to... Let's go to the positives. So, in my career, I've been offered my old job back here, which was one of the best jobs I ever had in my life. So, the big thing that's been playing on my mind is, do I go for security or fun? So, the job that I'm in now, secure. I know, for example, it's not going nowhere. Man's comfortable. Man can lay my bed on my laptop and not really have to worry about nothing. Hold tight, then. Hope they're not watching. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, but, <laughs> but, but he anyway, does work still. He does do Yeah, I do, I do enough work, anyway. Work. I do enough work. But yeah, so I've been offered my old job back. Best job I ever had in my life. Fun. Man can go in there in a tracksuit, make my own peas, manage myself. As I said, holidays. Uh, yeah, yeah, the holidays. Man got free holidays. Man was in Romania partying for free and that, bro. The <laughs> maddest thing you've ever been in. Trust me. I'll get some. I'll get some shit up anyway. But boom, now. Nah, so they offered me my old job back. I'm facing the problem of is it security or fun? Mm. Now I've asked a lot of people this, and people are saying, but yeah, it's fun, bro. Chase your dream. But at this time of your life, is it really about fun? Mm. Like, do you really want to be like? Fun is fun, isn't it? Like, obviously, you can't be fun. It's that like, it's gonna end up getting boring, bro. Man's hitting them sort of ages where. Man's done everything now, so what am I going to keep on chasing the same dream and that? So that's yeah, because like, I'm using a proper dilemma. I think you asked me about yeah, it, and I said, about it, "But what would you like, do?" I'm, listen, we're at, I'm 31 now, and to be fair, to chase that fun, maybe if I was 21, yeah, I'd cut and leave. But the job that we're in right now is so secure, and remember, we've got people that are depending on us. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, obviously, you, you can go to the fun job, but how long is that going to last for? Like. Obviously, we're in a pandemic. What what knows what's going to happen down the line? That that company could go bust. And it is, we know. Yeah. And it is in a, I mean? and it is in an industry where things are have the potential to go bust. It's like mm. travel industry, bro. So if flights don't happen, and if Boris is really chatting doo doo about this lockdown thing, then potentially nah, nah. I could take a job and then lose it again. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I'd say but stick. I mean, I'd say stick with a secure job because, that, bro. bro, right? Well, obviously, when you stop working at your last place, and it was so fortunate that your new role came up. Bro, you've been calm and you've never had to worry about, oh, what's going to happen? Am I going to lose my job? Is the money going to stop coming? We've got dependence. So I think right yeah. now, our age, we just, you know what I mean? We just, yeah, we you. just, we forget what the young people are doing. We just go with the flow. We're not young no more. But fam, I'm young in my heart, fam. I'll stay young. I'll stay young forever. Yeah. yeah. You. I'm that brother that'll be 40 in the race. Yeah, that'll be me. <laughs> That's never I enjoy me. It. But, but, but not I'm obviously, not, but, not, but, but not obviously, people say that and people say like you, you get judged by being 40 in the race. But bro, you, people got to enjoy music. It's not always about going out there and looking for the attention or not going for to look for that sort of thing. Man's going out there to enjoy loud music. You don't really do that I in your yard. I enjoy loud music in my car. Yeah, but that's not, you know what I mean? It's all about, it's the environment. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the release. It's the freedom, I think, like at the end of the day. I think that's why I people said go earlier, with. when you go out and you, you know when you drink alcohol and you go outside and you, it smells alcoholy. I don't know if you, people, you know what I'm talking, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know when you get the alcohol yeah, smell yeah. of the outside, I'm not, I don't drink beer, by the way. <laughs> what are you thinking? But it's the alcohol smell, like, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. The goal, I, I, I hear you still, but yeah, man, like so I said. Saying, are you done with Raven? <laughs> and yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't give an answer to that question. No comment. Yeah, I hear you. I but hear you. Um, moving on. So this week, 
jab passports to enter pubs oh, and bars. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Like, I don't think that's gonna happen. No, nah, but gonna listen, even if it does happen, Boris, brilliant idea. I will be oh, getting my jab brother, next year. I mean, not next year, next week. I will be getting my jab. Um, but do you, what? But obviously, I was. I was, see me. I was. I was all for the jab in the beginning when I thought that there was the potential that it was gonna do more than what it does. Mm. What are you gonna get the jab for? Nothing. No, no, no. No, it is. It is. No, but we're. But we're assuming. We're assuming things are gonna change. Things might. You don't. We don't know. We're going off what people are putting on instagram i don't look at these social media posts and think oh my god we're gonna no listen i'm getting my jab because i'm going with what boris has said i don't think there's oh, any major god. conspiracy going on behind the scenes <laughs> listen this is what i'm trying to say but we don't know in my mind april the 12th things are opening june we're back and everyone's planning. No, if you didn't, if people didn't believe that no, and they think what I'm talking no, is crap, no, why are you no, buying no. tickets for Elro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. Like, why? Like, we're yeah, opening yeah. again. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah, you, yeah, we're yeah, open. We're back. Yeah. We're back. Trust me, I'm getting my jab next week anyway. So that jab passport, it doesn't phase me. I'll be out during the Euro oh, celebrating. Oh, See, that, uh, as I said, the jab ain't doing nothing for no one. It ain't proven to do anything right now. So that's why I'm apprehensive about it. As I said, I was all for it in the beginning, thinking that it was, it was going to bring a new, a new leaf or a new spring and we was going to move into a new section of what life would have been. But really and truly, there's nothing changing. Everyone's getting jabbed up and it's still exactly the same as it was, really. Man's still on lockdown. Man's still out here. Obviously, things are going to start opening up slowly. And I don't think they can start introducing this jab passport thing because that will cause uproar. There will be like a That's civil. There will be like a civil war. There's gonna be like there will be like freedom fighters that won't be able to go into anywhere because of how we feel. Because that's eventually what it will I, end I, up. For example, if it gets to that point where they say you can't get in with a jab, you can't go shopping, you can't do this, then you are gonna have the freedom fighters, and it is gonna, it is gonna end up being that re big rebellion mm -hmm. where people are gonna be going against the grain, and then the underworld is obviously gonna be the underworld, and it'll be what it'll be. I hear you, my brother. Loose, and, you made a good point. Um, but yeah, like but I said, six months anyway. They, yeah. extend, they, extend, they extended it. Um, so yeah, no, they, no, no, obviously, I'm. You see, when obviously when I saw the extended thing, like I, I just thought to myself, they're just doing it as a precaution. Like it's nothing. It's not saying that it's going to happen. It's just a precaution, just in case things. We don't know what kind of strain is going to come here. I'm talking about the strain. We, we don't know. Like, like we don't know. About, like, like it's gelato. No, but bro, it's true. No, going on, it's bro? True. We're talking about COVID nineteen. It's true. No, exactly. One COVID, it's one COVID nineteen. The Brazilian. But you're strain. saying no. But you're the saying variants, that. Like, but what? see, when I, well, weed, I'm, weed. Just, I'm just trying to protect. Shit. I'm trying to protect. I'm trying to protect people. Like I want. I don't want to catch corona and give it to someone that's vulnerable. So but yeah, you can still I'm, catch it and spread it with the jab. Yeah, but it does. But it, but it, will, what, it will harm the the jab is gonna do take, nothing. No, it takes away. <laughs> it's gonna do. No, you'll do nothing. But we don't know that though. That we just no, but assuming. Bro, at the moment, not at the do moment. Do you think these scientists bro. will lay the facts out for us and be like, oh, no. yes, it's true. Yes, they do. Yeah, no, above, listen. <laughs> But like I said, we're going to, because this is a very contra controversial topic know, and we've already touched it and people might no, get it. No, but it's ever changing. That's why it can always be, it can always I'll be touched. I'll brother up. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Don't draw him out because he's got some stuff for us. He's moving, coming, moving he's coming on, the, on the show. Staying on the passport subject, I don't know if this is true, but I did see it on Instagram. Baby fathers that are not paying their child maintenance. That's mental. Taking their passports away from them. Oh, bear man losing their passports. Man, pay up. You better get your money out. You better start paying that maintenance because when all your brethren are going, I be far. It's mad. And you go to the and you say, yeah, check in. Oh, Dun -dun. sorry, sir, you can't go with confiscating your passport. That's a lose, fam. I don't. Obviously, it could be a myth. You know what the internet's like, boy. You can take one thing, take a pinch with a. It's pinch mad though because baby mothers could do that to absolutely embarrass. Like the, the man yeah. could be paying them cash and they'll say, no, he's not paying me nothing. Do exactly the same thing. Trust me. Trust me. It's peak out here. They're, 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 they're doing the most. They are doing the most. <laughs> Girls, sort yourself out. Men, sort yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting on the fence in this one. But, bro, yeah, there's been and big things on social. Well, not even big things on social media going on as well, but do you see the thing about arms and um, bouncer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What are you saying about that, my brother? Use, use your money on. Uh, I don't, I'm I, saying bouncer. No, no, to be fair. <laughs> no. Bouncer is definitely doing them. Bouncer is doing it. Bouncer is swifter than my man. Because no, but the thing is, no, no, but you see, the thing is, arms is such a big U, but big U's can get dropped. Yeah. Like big U and Bouncer's got power behind him. Yeah, that's why I'm, 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 yeah, it's team Bouncer. Yeah, he's got weight behind him. It's all good having all that muscle, but the weight, it's the weight behind him. Oh, but that, bro, listen, Bouncer was a scrapper from a long time, bro. You Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I say, I say yeah, no, I think MMA makes it more exciting though. It does because it can go either way. Nobody's trained in MMA. Mm. Yeah. Everybody knows boxing is fast and mm. straightforward. Mm. Like, you know, MMA is a bit different. 
Yeah. I want to see some kicks, scratching, biting. Yeah, I think I think it gives it. I think it gives it a fair playing field with, now that it's gone to MMA because I think bouncer might be a bit more advanced. I'll, I'll be shook to arms. put my money on it though. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, you never know because you never now. know, especially now. Yeah, now is MMA. Because we're not know. we're not accustomed to MMA. Yeah, what's it? UFC? What's UFC? Yeah, UFC. MMA. That's what I'm saying. Like, so but it's just. Do you know what I mean? It's just anyone can get anyone. Yeah, so yeah, nice and also, obviously another thing that's been announced this week: Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Oh, Big up on. my guy Anthony Joshua. Round of applause, Anthony King, Joshua. Loud that, loud that, loud that. It's the Gypsy King thing. Wow, man. Tyson Fury's doing him, bro. I can't lie to you. Uh, Tyson Fury is doing the brother. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank you, my bros. Oh, I appreciate that. But yeah, Tyson Fury is gonna outbox my brother AJ, and that's just the way it's gonna go. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, gonna, it's it's gonna not him, gonna bro. happen. It's just gonna. He's this just is gonna why I wish him. Scott was here. And then actually, the, and the, who's fighting tomorrow? I swear, Dylan White and Povetkin tomorrow as well. <laughs> Dylan White's gonna get rocked again. I'm no, sorry he's to not. Say no, he's I'm not. Sorry, I'm sorry to say. No, he's sorry, not. Hey, he's Dale, not. you're from the ends. You're repping, Dil. But bro, you're gonna get yourself. Wrong there's again. no way Dylan White loses a second fight in a row again. No, he doesn't. But this, he is the doesn't. End, this is the end. This is the end. No, but Povetkin caught him by mistake. No, Dylan was beating him in the last fight. Yeah. Beating him, like beating him. It's gonna be the same scenario. No, it's not. It's not. Because no, he's is, gonna have no, his wits about no, him. Povetkin caught him with a lucky bang that they've been training for. Dylan will not get caught again. Right, He's going to box smart. He's going to points right, tomorrow. Which one to put a bet? Yeah. Right, what Live vote on the Live show. Okay, 50, 20 50. pound that oh, Dylan White takes him to points. All right, cool. I'd what? No, hold on, wait. Let's say that again. 20 pound that Dylan White takes him to points. So and, if Dylan and, and White... And wins. I'm saying Perfecting wins regardless. On point. Take right. him to points, whatever right, cool. it is. Perfecting Dylan White wins. wins. Yeah, cool. Seen it. 20 pound. Okay, sweet. Live. Anyone, Anyone else want to bet? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't want it. Uh, 100%. Don't want I'm, it. Saying, I'm saying perfect. Kids, but yeah, so. it's, it's a good, it's, you know, it's a good, it's good time for sports because obviously we've got the boxing in the summer. We've got the Euros. Uh, yeah, we've trust. got Liverpool winning the Champions yeah. League. Oh, slow down. Here we go again. You might as well do a shot for that. Yeah, you should do, man, because you ban football talk, man. No, but to be fair, the, I clocked on the last episode. You lot absolutely sucked me because not <laughs> one time did we ever talk about shots for... Um, Liverpool. We talk about shots for Drake. All right, cool. That's a uh, shot, though. Shot. Yeah, just to say. Yeah. That's it. Just I've done that on purpose just yeah, to yeah, do a shot. Wanted to, you wanted to do a shot. Yeah, bro. But yeah, boxing. But Lawrence O'Coley as well. He done his thing still. He done his. He done his thing, man. Trust me, it's exciting, man. There's things going on. There's things going on. We're moving and grooving, man. What about wireless at Crystal Palace? Oh, that's loose. <laughs> <laughs> that's loose. That's like war zone. <laughs> that's that's, 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 that's <laughs> Loose. Yeah. Loose. Loose. To be fair, I saw a lineup and Drake's going this year. Oh, don't. You'll be there. I'll be there. Drake ain't gonna go. Huh? You said it twice. You got yeah, Drake, up, going to, Drake ain't going wireless, bro, man. L- little Uzi Vert. A man said, have you seen the meme where he's taking a thing out his head like film? <laughs> taking, yeah, taking the thing out his head. No, but that's... that's mad. To be fair, I get why. They, they probably thought, let's wireless. put all our money in guests and then find yeah, a low-budget venue. Yeah. venue. Mm, mm, mm. Cause they'll sell out in Crystal Palace. I'm sure they've sold out now. They probably will. But it's fans, just clever. It's just clever. These well, be- especially with that type of music, though. I think that that would attract the all sorts. Yeah, of course. It's gonna be. Bro, listen, it's Warzone in the dance, bro. Yeah. When you touch down, it's peak. Yeah, it's peak. It's, it's peak. <laughs> no, it's not even. What we're talking about Crystal Palace. Is- no, yeah. because we can say that the same with Finsbury Park. Yes. Yeah, and it's, it's and it's all right. Do you know what I mean? Say the thing with Finsbury Park. I say um, anywhere you go, you're safe. But yeah, what, it's, what? it's a no from me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish I, I wish I got tickets to wireless, but would you have went? Of course I would have. We've oh, seen the lineup now, and you know who's going. No, I don't know who's going. I still ain't seen the lineup. Something you laugh for something you cry, but I guess you know now, <laughs> <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, Jay, you see when you mix that in, make it sound sick. So people think I can sing. Auto tune, no, auto tune, my boys. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um, big big episode today. Um, don't even, don't even, we're not even going to expose too much. But yeah, yeah let's man. not expose too it's much. It's nice. We had a nice reception from the last episode. Hold tight, yeah. Cali, for the sick episode, man. Yes, big up, Cali. No, 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 serious, man. Serious, man. You should, like, like, for, for, the, for, yeah. the, for the youth that took that, for the people that, that took that in, I like, yeah. really appreciate that because it, it, it takes a lot it's to so really show deep. your story. Because like, it takes a lot to do that journey as well. Like, it's not easy for, for one second. And as I said, the, the area that we sort of come from is sort of like this crabs in a bucket mentality where you, as soon as you try to leave, people are clawing you back and trying to claw you back in somehow. So for, for man to shed that skin, yeah, so as I said, it's a hats off for the brothers. Yeah, no, hats off to him. But the episode, as I said, we're doing numbers at the moment as well. Yo, so obviously before we filmed that episode, the numbers started spiking. I was like, bro, what's going on? Yeah, I was just seeing this in new screenshots. We're on a thousand plus videos for... 
three of our we, episodes. We most of our episodes. The fourth yeah. episode is still climbing right now. So yeah, big up everyone that's watching. Just yeah. make sure you subscribe. Like, I'm not taking away from you for watching, but just subscribe because that makes us know people are watching. Obviously, YouTube will start to take notice once people start subscribing. Um, yeah, we want to get a little like, Instagram base. as well. We more for you. How many are Gives we us from? More content, more content. Instagram, we're like seven eighty. <laughs> we want to get to a grand. Like we're gonna do a massive giveaway when we hit. To massive a giveaway. Oh, massive giveaway. We say hundred pound JD voucher. I had no chance to be in the audience. <laughs> like you can go. Ahead. <laughs> what, 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 what are we trying to get out, road man? <laughs> going to school, bro. What the, yeah, no, no, but yeah, we saw our massive care package as soon as we hit a thousand followers. Chance to come down to be in the audience. As I said, yeah, exactly. we're, we're very selective with the audience. Very selective, but it's but lit. Barbershop no, opens on the April the twelfth, so yeah. it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna be like, we're gonna when we say live and direct when the, when everything's open, we're talking live and direct. You're gonna see the. The You're gonna hear say someone say, "Hey, Richie, you fuck up my hair." No, but, yeah. <laughs> but, but Richie don't fuck up no hair. Richie's a bad boy. Yeah, we got Richie's we got Richie. every time. You get me? But yeah, it's gonna be lit when the barbershop's open and we get all the sort of yardies coming through here doing the maddest of all. We're gonna do. You're gonna see cartwheels because you might get the Mitchum regulars that are by the clock tower, bro. <laughs> it gets wild out here. It gets yeah? wild out here. It gets wild. Here. Right. So, before, welcome to the break. Do you say welcome to the break? We never say welcome to the break. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to the break. Um, firstly, I want to shout out today's official. On bad boy glasses. Bad boy glasses. I got mine this week. And put them on quickly. Jeez, that's a feeling. Hey, right, listen. <laughs> I, oh, oh, man. No, hold on. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But anyway, today's official. On, in, on Instagram there, today's official underscore twice. Um, look them up on Instagram. It's a yeah, new um, uh, uh, business that's just open for sunglasses, earrings, for girls. Um, brilliant. Br absolutely brilliant. Men, if you want a present for your girlfriend, go and look up that page. <laughs> back ASAP. in the episodes, G. What you like? We are back. We are back. Um, today we are delving in on... Well, don't even discuss it, bro. Like, yeah. don't, even, don't even give it a title because it's deeper than that. Yeah, it's deeper than that still. We're just talking about the man then. How yeah. are we feeling, man? Yeah, how really are we like, feeling? Like, it's, 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 it's getting to the point where things are getting a bit bit heavy. Like, I think we're not, we're not, it's not getting enough recognition that it deserves. We're not. Not even to say that it deserves because it's, it's not because something it, that it, deserves. Do you know what anything, it's because we don't talk about it. It's not highlighted enough. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So it's, it's just passing by and it's just happening and then. It's just like, and then people just get on with their lives because it's not being highlighted enough. Like, you know, like racism was just in your face. Like um, yeah, what we discussed last week is in, in our face and it, people keep it stuck in it. But as men, we're just, it's happening and we're just passing it by. We'll talk about it for about two days and it's just passing by. Because um, yeah, really, when you think about it, feelings are everything, man. Yeah. And if you're not feeling yourself and you're keeping it to yourself, that is the hardest thing that you probably have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, trying to keep out here, pretending that you're happy when really inside that you're not. And obviously, if you ain't got the gist of it, man, talking about men's mental health. You see, like, it's, 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 not even, it's, 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 it's not even about hiding it as well, because some people show it, but they don't talk about it. Like, they'll talk, yeah. people will try and talk to you about it, but you'll dismiss it. Yeah, of course, man. And I think, is that the fear of being judged? Because, mm. like, do you see it as, as I said, if, like a big factor in it is being trapped in your, as I said, we were talking about earlier, trapped in your masculinity. Mm -hmm. Like, and when I say that is that you're so focused on being the man and sometimes you're in this position where you have to be the man. There's no chance for you to get, have that weakness. For example, like there's men that are really out on the streets that don't have nothing else but to be on the streets. And the moment they let a weakness in is the moment that their, their whole thing could crumble. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not even that. It's just that they of can't course. discuss it with their families because their yeah, but families some, no, but as are I said, a certain type of way. Or yeah, but, but they're, yeah. Go on, sorry. But for the people that don't have families, for example, like, yeah. there are people that really do suffer, but have to suffer in silence because they don't have no option but to do that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But for the people that do, and they do have the options, for example, as I, said, I was just talking about a minority of people that mm. suffer, but for the other people that do have a strong people around them and they have a big family and they have friends that care and they have big social some people are big faces some people are happy as larry sometimes yeah. you see them and they might be in a rave tomorrow the next day that you hear that they've they've took their own life i even um i think it, uh, the more famous people that that's, that's happened to um was it mike from love island and obviously mick norcross yeah 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 that exactly. obviously unfortunately What's took their life that's not kurt that's his son oh, mick. Yeah. Um, unfortunately took their lives and obviously we've had, I, I don't want to i don't want to speculate but obviously it's, there's something drastic that's happened in Mitchum in the last two weeks that's happened. And obviously people are speculating one thing, we don't know if it's true, but if obviously we want to say it, rest it, in it, peace. But yeah, yeah, obviously we say rest in peace all the time. And as I said, it's a, it's a sad scenario regardless, but the thought that if, if that thought process was in someone's mind at that time, 
Why was you thinking like that? Like, there's always a question as to why and why was that not discussed before it got to that mm. point? Like, what made you get there, bro? Like, there are people around you that care. So that is, the, I think that's the, the factor, that, that's the line that is, is important because nobody, I think everyone is scared. Mm. As a man, you are scared to open up. Like, for, it, it's even hard, for, especially if it's the man of the household, for example. You're the man, you've got to be tough. If you've got dependents, you've got you have family. To just hold you everything. have to hold everything. Yeah. You have to hold it. Oh, it doesn't matter what you're feeling because you have to be daddy or you have to be husband or you have to be boyfriend or you have to be whatever. There's there always going to be the underlying pressure, whether you feel it or not. You have to maintain. And, and, uh, you have to maintain the decorum. Yeah, 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 it's almost yeah, like yeah. a facade, bro. You can, you, can, you, can be, you can be going through something in the bathroom, having a mental breakdown, and the moment that your kid you calls you, yeah, you have to wipe, wipe your tears. What's wrong? Nothing. And you just, have to get back to, you just have to get back to pretending, bro. But how much do people it's fucking ask? Like, as a man, how much do people ask you? Like, I, you obviously, okay? I ask you if you're all right, but that's you because I, I know how we it are. gets. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, and and, and as you, obviously, you touched on people care about you. How much do... Like, when I went through my, my, my breakdown... I didn't think people cared about me um, or I didn't have enough to go to people to say, bro, like, I'm feeling this way or, or this is how I'm feeling. Do you know what I mean? So some men actually don't feel like they can open up their feelings. And the thing is, men bottle things up. Like, yeah. bottle well, things up. I'm not going to lie to you. Man had counselling. I went through a mad scenario in my life. There was a mad patch. I was going through mad cases. Obviously, it was like, not to play facade, but obviously it was part of the case. I had to go and do it. But there was a point where I finished and I continued purely because I enjoyed it. Being, being spe like speaking to someone that doesn't know me from Adam, non-biased view, she doesn't know my background, she doesn't know my history, she doesn't know my circle, that was the most refreshing feeling. And I think that that's, yeah, that, yeah thank you, I appreciate that. No, thank you, I appreciate that. No, serious, that's what, make, that, that's what made me elevate. Like, that's what made me elevate and make me think about myself more. Like, before it was about trying to please everyone else and trying to do everything for everyone else, and you can't do that all the time, bro. You have to think, think like, as I said, self-preservation. I said it in episodes before, but I might have not got the point across where I meant, bro. Right? I wasn't being derogatory in the sense where I don't care about my friends and I don't answer my phone yeah. to them, but, bro, sometimes I'm going through my yeah, shit. Yeah, I can't... Sometimes, as much... And, is on the sometimes it's better to be in your own space yeah, to deal with it. Yeah. Because when, you, when, when all the thoughts are going through your head, you don't want to talk on the phone. You need to... Like, I, I don't have my moments where I air because I, I, you see, when I'm going through my moments, I need to speak to someone to take my mind off it. Like, yeah. I won't necessarily talk to them about it, but I need to speak to, to, to get my mind off it. Like, I talk a lot. I, like, I call people. I don't do WhatsApp. I'd rather call you than speak because yeah, if I'm going you. through my time, I need, to, I, need to, I need to speak to someone on the phone. But do, you, just, but, but do you share your problem? Do you, or do you just do it for, so to, from do you, or do you do it to sort of veer your problems away from? What's, do you do, do you sort of do it to like veer away from your own reality? So from experience, like, like, yeah, yeah. No, I hate, but from, obviously from experience. So from, uh, I'll delve into it later. Later, but from experience, I've learned that sometimes it's best best not to talk about the the, the what. Well, obviously, that's that's just how I take it. I've learned that it's best not to speak to it because. I prefer to speak about something else that will take my mind off it. I do a lot of things to distract myself. Obviously, at night time, it's a different story because obviously everyone's sleeping and obviously I suffer from mad insomnia, as you know. So I literally like sit there, but then obviously when the day starts, back at it. That's why I like to work five days a week. Exactly. No. Yeah. Well, you, you're, still not, you're still not dealing with it because no, you're not voicing yeah, it. No, you're not no, discussing you it and you healing yourself. yourself. But you I'm 31 now. And that's your way of dealing with it. Yeah. But it always come back. And when you're sitting in that place, yes. then you always come back. But as a man, as a man it's, it's easy to that's say right. it. But it that's the point. Exactly that's the point. You need to know it's okay, it's okay to, to seek to do help it. when you need to seek help. Exactly. Okay. And sometimes and help isn't a professional service. Sometimes help is reaching out to your boy. No, sometimes help is reaching out to your sister. No, like I said, or your like mom. Rose just said, I don't think so. Like, obviously, we, we were talking about it in the car, and men find it... I find it difficult. So, so speaking to, I find speaking to a girl is easier than speaking to a boy because, not that I feel like boys are judgmental, but when when the time passes and they think you're alright, I feel like men run jokes or they they judge on your masculinity, think you're weak, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that you yeah, can't cope with certain and situations. Think, and I think that's the big that's the big stigma around opening up to your boys. That's why some of the people that do go through them stages and get to the point where they want to take their own lives, that's why their boys don't even know it's going to happen. Yeah. Because they keep a facade up because they don't want to even let their boys know that they're feeling weak. It's a front, bro. Man's not going to show no weakness because sometimes, in the, in the, in, unfortunately, the environment that we come from, 
that is a weakness. People do see that as a weakness and you will get judged upon it. People, and man people might, will take advantage of it. Yeah, people do take advantage of it. Like some, and, and there's facts. You might have an argument and you hear your business come from bare yeah, different people. You're yeah, like, yeah. what? You know, and, and it hurts, bro. Like, and especially when you have a personal conversation with someone and you respect it. It's just natural for you to keep that to yourself. Mm -hmm. I, do, I shouldn't even have to say to you, bro, don't even say that to no one. Yeah. That, that should be a natural, because the fact that I've opened up to you, you should take that on your, on your chest and be like, bro, that was quite deep. So yeah. that is something person that I just shared a moment with my brethren. So let me just keep that to the chest. But some people don't see it like that and people will start just talking about it all randomly. Like, it's, you see, you see, sometimes, so, sorry, go go on. On. sometimes some men, go see, on, so obviously the way I see it sometimes, well, if I talk, say I was to talk, not, not specifically to you, but say I was to talk to like, a guy about what I'm going through, I would always have in the back of my mind, even if it's not going to come out, this person is going to, I think, do you know, I think it stems from not having a close relationship with my dad, maybe, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah, a close yeah, relationship with my mum, which is why I, I prefer, yeah, so, which is what, which, of what they're going to think. Exactly, so which is why I, I prefer to go to a women to speak about what I'm going through because I feel like it's a more calming presence because mm. out of my mum and dad right now, maybe my mum's not the calmest person, but she's a calming figure where yeah, I can yeah, let it all yeah. out and Same. then she'll say one. But that's only recently though. Obviously, we'll dive, delve into yeah. past experiences later on, but... Can I just ask why though? For me, I, I see from, I see from a man's point of view, mm. so obviously I have a partner and I see the struggles that he's been through. And also, I feel like a lot of the time it is toxic masculinity because it's a thing of whereby you think you can't act weak and you can't show your feelings because yeah. we're gonna, I'm gonna judge you like, oh yeah, yeah. man, why are you yeah. acting like that? But no, but and, and as, as sad as it sounds, I think that's what, I'm not, I hate digging out social media, but that's almost like what it's done because all these memes and all these things, they do subliminally get into your mind and some people are comparable to the, all these little yeah. things that they dig out at you. Like they say things like, oh, if you see your man crying, like if I see that man crying, he ain't for me. Or you know them odd little, odd little things that you see and girls might tell you that and that's where you get this, all, this whole this city girl thing and you would always have to have that machismo. You'd have to stay masculine. You'd have to keep your power, your dominance. I think every single man goes for it. Every single man. There's no man that can't say they've never felt depressed. Because of every man goes for it. But there's there's just, some men are better than dealing with it than others. Oh, yeah, I think, Do you know what I honestly think we need to stop isolating yeah. ma male depression and female yeah. depression? Yeah, yeah. We're human. Every yeah. single person is human. Yeah. And yeah. that is the fact that like, we are going to feel it. Like, if something happens with your male or female, you may be carrying different weights. No, 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 you are carrying a weight. No, 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 but the difference is men that. From birth, but why is it? Why is it like that? And I agree with that. That is the mentality. Yeah, we, we should be raising. Audience, but audience, can we raise it? Can we cut? Sorry, yeah, no, wait, audience. Let's let's wait. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna open up. We're gonna open up. I know. Listen, everyone. I know everyone. Listen, listen, listen. It's a it's a it's a very it's a very deep. Mental health is different. Some people suffer with paranoia. Some people suffer with this. Some people suffer with that. Some people's minds can't actually comprehend the fact. Some people ain't on social. It's a whole big variety. It's not about social media. It's not about this. Some people literally struggle and they just wake up every day and they struggle. Because every this, day. This, 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 this is a year. Yeah, this is a year. Like it's been, been happening long before social media. Got, it's a big conversation. They're trapped in their own minds and they can't get out. I fully agree with you. Don't worry, we're coming to you lot. Slow down. You're not doing too much. Obviously, you know how it gets in the barbershop. I told you. Any, anyone yeah, is you know it anyone? Look, yeah. From when you lot watching the episodes, you know how it gets. It's passionate. It's real. It's, it's, real. it's not one hundred percent from the heart. Like there's no facade in there. there there's no. no. We leave you at, like literally. It's the real. It's, it's what you're gonna get, boy. My brother. Trust me. You know the one there. But as I said, it, it, it's heavy, man. I just want to touch on one specific yeah, thing. Yeah, we're going back in, man. So obviously the social media thing you said, we're not saying that this is all, all started from I social hate media. Out social because media. do you know what it is? This started way but for me it started way before social media. It did, you know but, like but but it it was very massively more increased when social media came about. For me, yeah, no, nah, for me, it probably, to be fair, I've, do you know what? Mental health, there's such a massive umbrella. A lot of things come through through, through mental health. Like, so it could be depression, it could be, what else could it be? Anxiety. It's anxiety. Anxiety is a part of a mental health. Um, losing your mind. Like, when I say losing your mind, it's like, I don't want to say going, like, just, just not being able to think. Just being, yeah, just, just, yeah, just losing yourself a bit. And, 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 because, and, and, because, the thing is, and the thing is, you know what it is? 
I think everybody loses their self a bit, but you lose it in different ways. Some people turn to drugs, some people turn to alcohol, mm. some people turn to raving, some people turn to socialising, some people t- some people find their escape, whether it be even like, for example, for, yeah, get stuck mm. in themselves, even as, a, even, that's why I think that even down to the man that are on the road going ham and don't yeah. even ever see PTSD. anything else. That tunnel vision, I think that even is down to sort of mental because health. Because they, don't, what, see, what, they, they don't see anything else. Yeah. They, do, they don't want to leave that pathway because they, they're scared of the unknown. And I think a lot of people are scared of the unknown. So that's why they don't take that dip. And like even when they do come out of it, no matter what anyone says, there's always PTSD from being on the road because you would have that one situation where you nearly died, that one situation even where... Down to my situation, you see if, even, yeah. even down to my recent situation, PTSD straight away. Like, when like you, hearing your door yeah, come off. All of that. You know, what, you know what I mean? Like Just them scenarios there and being back in that place where you don't have no door handles, man. Hearing keys, when you hear the keys jingle, yeah. man, you know that you, hopefully you're coming out. That's yeah. some wild animal shit. When you, when you deep it and when, you, when you've been through them scenarios, like them things that we deal with for the rest of our lives as men, like, and we're not digging out women and say that you, you lot don't go through stuff. Of course we're, not saying, we're not saying that at all because you lot go through stuff. But we highlight I really, it. I, I appreciate you women yeah, as well because like, I know what you go through as mums, as sisters, as, as, as all of that. All of the, as the strong aunties, women. Moms. As I said, behind every strong man, there's yeah. a stronger woman. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I, I firmly stand behind that. But at the same time, men do it. Men, we yeah. Today is about the men, and we do it differently, and and, and it's not talked about enough. Mm. So because you, the girls have there's there's a lot more for girls to get help. There's a lot more girls are a lot more friendlier than girls. Um, girls are a lot more friendlier than boys. Not just that, if girls are there, reach out because you're happy to speak to them too. Yeah. Like imagine no, but for example, you could, a girl could have, be broke up like just a silly one like you're in a rave. A girl's just crying because she's just seen her boyfriend. Um, she's just seen her boyfriend with another man. The girl is quick to. And be like, babe, what, what, just, what just happened? Fuck, fuck him off. Therapy. Fuck it and come with us. Therapy. Whereas a man would be like, look at this dickhead. We'll walk into the toilet and be like, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this pussy? What's wrong with this pussy? In the, what's wrong with this pussy in the corner crying? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're not. We're not. We're, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying the scenarios. Wait, but when we're comparing women and men on an emotional scale, and no, you say men that are men deserve, no. oh, men need help at this stage. The sisters, you know. I big up the sisters, Laura and Rose. What I'm saying is women as women but I think to, to talk about men nah man forget take your women out there take, your, take the women nah, out no but I think equation. to talk about men's, men's mental nah, but even, for even a man that doesn't have a girlfriend right. that is just on the road he has got his own mental right. health this with right. it yeah it right. does not women yeah it's not about it's not about them today what I'm saying is is what is the difference so I'm questioning what's the difference because, because for right. me for me I can say shit I'm going through some shit at the moment and Ben knows me I don't talk about it I don't like talking, so when I'm ready to talk, I'll talk. But when I do talk to my girls, when I do talk to my girls, it's therapy for me because they listen to me. But I'm saying, what's the difference? Why do you not not as a, no, but as a, This is why I said, as a man, I find it more comforting coming to a female. Well, but, 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 no, but like I said, because you feel... No, don't, don't get me wrong. Because, you don't, so, well, because deep down, because you as a man think that they don't really care. Because a lot, a lot of people don't really care. Listen, men are not nurturing. Women have a natural nature to nurture men. They nurture it's it, exactly that's the word you can't yeah. hug a man exactly. Wait, yeah that's it exactly. you've that's hit the, right for. let's rein it in quickly i oh, please hit on that point though that um about why men go to yeah men men are not men, men don't go nurturing. to men yeah because like do you know what i sometimes i feel like see sometimes i feel like i don't I, I don't get into them dark dark places no more because i know how to deal with it but you know if i was like yeah, who do you go to like i Obviously, I tell you most stuff, but I don't think I could come to you because sometimes I feel like you see, girl, with obviously with girls, girls care more, bro. They, it's not even that they, they care more, but it's do. more comforting because yeah, they hug no, you. But they do. I find it but weird they, to get a hug from a man. Listen to what I'm saying. They do care more. It's just their nature, isn't it? Like it's it, it, that's their mothering instinct or their mm. sisterly instinct. It comes out of them. Men don't have that. They're boisterous. Like mm. m- tomorrow, you can tell a man the problem tomorrow. He will forget about it. Like, I mean, tell him today, he'll forget about it tomorrow. Not it's all not going to be. It's not, not going to be his agenda. Yeah. Not, not all men, but yeah. some. Some that like, you do have. The, as I said, like my social circles are really good in that sense where we have an open forum where we can discuss things. Although you might not want to, but it is there because it's been done. We do talk about things openly in our group chats, like so. That's why I have to take my hats off to the people that I'm around yeah, no, now. Yeah, of course. But, but that's what I'm trying. To, no, no, but in previous lives, and I think, as I said, like the stigma behind 
if we're going if we're going back to that road culture, not to say that that's the main topic and that's where it comes from, but there is a big stigma about mental health about that because a lot of these men that go through that and now older, say our age, get to that point where they can't cope no more. And is it because they get to that point? As I said, there's a stat that says like the the male percentage is when they get to that like, between 40 and 45. Mm. Like that's obviously there is younger there is a rise in younger people, but. That age is like where you actually clock on like maybe I failed in life. But you see, you and see things what? start tumbling in. Like when you get to that age, when you get to like 40, 45 mm. and you realise that shit has mm. really hit the fan, you haven't done nothing, you haven't achieved nothing. You see, like, it's, it's, obviously it's, I, get, I hear what you're saying. You see, you see with the whole, so with the road mentality and people that are not on the road or half yeah. on the road that are not on the road, I feel, I, and I don't want to put this out there like I'm, I'm, I'm playing it down, but I feel like, People that have been on the road are, are less likely to kill us, but they yeah, are more course. likely to get on. Wait, no, I'm, wait, I'm not. Wait, wait, let me, let me finish. Uh, they're more likely to get on to harder, harder drugs. Yeah, or to, yeah, to, to or, try yeah, and cope or, with how or, they're yeah, feeling, or lose themselves. Like yeah. we might take them, or something might take them because their is not good. Like mm. there's always, there's always going to be something that gets like that. You know what I mean? Like mm. there's always, there's always going to be the outlet, whether it be they turn the baddest man and have no relentless for nothing. Mm. They don't mind going in and out of jail. Mm. That could be their mental health, mm. where they just don't have no thought for nothing. Mm. That's their problem. That's yeah. their issue. Yeah. Like you know that loose cannon that you're always mm. around that has has nothing to lose. It like so they've always got to be on point. Yeah. Like, yeah I'll stab him now. You know yeah. what I mean? That yeah. there, that there is mental health. And that's that. And do you know how scary that is? when you're actually deep like there's yeah, like, but it's, it's, forget about the road but obviously with the, sorry, with the, with the, the people wait, that are me, not on the road let me, as let well for, a second. Yeah, go for on. the people that don't understand what we're talking about the road culture we'll get to that episode because I feel like it's I'm sorry to say but it's it is needed. two separate it is very two it's separate very lives yeah. like it, but it's very two separate yeah, lives needed. and that like where we, that's why I think not to blow trumpets but we've had our foot in both so that's why we bring it to you from the ball. Yeah. We can bring it to you from both sides. Like, yeah. so I know that we have mm. little viewers that don't really get like when we're talking about roads mm. and stuff. Like, it is a very yeah, like, no. it's, it's it's very much it's which is why explain. we're trying to kind of just yeah, break, break it down. We, yeah, a bit we break more. it down as much as we can for you. Yeah, but so, yeah, like I said, so obviously even with the people that are not on the road, like I I don't think I've ever had that road mentality, which is why I feel like when I've had my breakdowns, it's been deeper. And yes. I'm afraid of death. And I think everyone that kills themselves is afraid of death. But when you're in that area, when you're in that space, to be fair, I haven't, I've only had that time twice, yeah? And when you're in that space and you don't have that kind of mentality, it's so easy to take your life right. like, like that. You, and even though death is a no, scary thing, right, when you're see, going no, through see, it. No, see, 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 and as mad as it sounds, yeah, see, that, that's a big thought process, bro. That's a I, ma- no, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not playing it down. I'm yeah, saying that's like, a massive thought is, process. It is a massive thought process. People that kill themselves, do they think about the people? Is it more of what for mm. someone else? Is it more for other people? You see, when you're in because that do moment, they think they nah. do they think they failed nah. or do they think they can't is manage? It, as do you know what I mean? Like, no, it's, 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 thought but, about it many a time. Many, but what about the young? But do you think about? But do you? But do you think about? Do you think about the people around you? Do you think about the people around you? Yeah, I agree. No, every, every, everyone thinks, but everyone thinks about it. Yeah. They get to that space and they think, what, bro, it's me. And they get to that space and they think, what, it's me. I'm strong. I'm the one that's causing problems. I don't think, I think they think and they think and they think and they think. And they've thought about it so many a time and they've maybe tried it and they thought they've chickened out. But I think everyone else, everyone's journey is also different. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. But obviously. Cause I've been, I've been, I've been through that stage. I've, I've proper, I deep. Like, I think, how old was I? Fourteen, fifteen. I've been through that stage. But how, but like, what, what stresses were you going through at fourteen, fifteen that made you get there, bro? Trust me, I've been that's, through mad. mad. No, but the thing is, so obviously, you know how my family are. My, yeah, my yeah, family yeah. are very, very religious. I, I could go to them with an issue and they'll say, pray about it. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not. Even, there's nothing wrong with praying about it, but like, yeah, yeah. no, but it's true. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I could I'll go to them for it. He's knocking at people's doors at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's you. Is he knocking at people's doors? It's you. <laughs> but like, Christmas at eight years old, I was like, Jesus. Like I said. Actually, my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I hear you, man. But there's, you. there's been two like, uh, major incidents, major incidents where I've been through that. The first time, I think I was 14, 15. At, no, 15, 16. And I think. At that stage, so obviously I've touched on it in the previous episode where I went to Ghana and I come back. Yeah, so yeah. I weren't close with my mum and dad like that. And if I, I, could, I don't think I could go to them. And when I did go to them, um, it was pray. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm not really, I'm, I, I am a bit now, but back then, I, no, I wasn't. So, 
and I was I was very much isolated in the fact that yeah. I'm, I've got the, I've got problems. these I've got these thoughts in my head and I can't go to my friends. But I'm 15, 16. Can you imagine a 15, 16 year old mad, going through man. them kind of issues in their head? That's and mad, so man. literally, that, it, it, it happened. That, whatever that, happened, that, happened, happened, and even after that, that had a, a, a bit of support for about a year, and then I've come out of that space again, and and then I've gone back into it again. Yeah. When did you go? So when did you start going back into it though? Like in, a, in your later, so, the, in your so later obviously years. I'm a very emotional person. So the second time I went in into that stage was when I, when I had a mad, 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 mad breakup. And when I say mad, that is mad. And <laughs> like, my, I'll, I'll be real. My mind's my mind's not strong mentally. Now, now I am. See, see, mentally, see, I am. And the thing is, now, there's, 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 there's a history mention of men breaking up with their women and, <laughs> and, and, and committing suicide. I think it was back in the day there was a um, like a, a famous graffiti artist that, 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 that I remember it being talked about. Mm. Uh, his, his missus I think broke up with him and he just couldn't handle it. Do you, uh, I think do you think that plays a big factor into can women play a big factor into a, you wanting to get to that space? Um, because, no, because ma- I, you when, you, when you reach a certain age, massively, massively, because remember you're you're putting all, at that age you're putting all your the age I was, I put all my love and trust into this one person. Especially when you're not close with your family, you put all this love and trust into one person, and then when it goes, you feel, fuck, I'm on my ones. Yeah. And it's just, you're isolated, you don't want to go you to your I, boys, because when you're in that kind of love at that age, you isolate all your friends. Yeah, you do. You, you, you lock it, off. Like, not everyone, but you do. And at that time, I isolated everyone. So I'm literally at my mum's house in my box room, thinking, what am I on? Yeah, this is... The I mean, only thing that saved me at that time was, I don't even want to go into that, but <laughs> yes, yeah, like something brought me out of it and I was like, cool, I need to get on with it. And I got out of it and now I know right now, if I ever feel that like shit or if I ever feel low, I know all I need to do is pick up a phone and just talk shit to someone. Like wow. even, because people find me funny in it. So I call people and just chat shit. Like, you all right? Oh. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's your, yeah, that's your own. <laughs> and that's it, that's it, go on, go on T, go on T, go on, go on. Um, So, I'm talking from my perspective. So what I'm saying is, I think a lot of it is, is very generational. Mm. So with men and their mental health, it's very generational. So you guys have been brought up to a certain standard. So I'm talking about African, Jamaican yeah, culture. Yeah. I don't I don't know so much about white because I have been brought up about white culture. But what I'm saying is is you guys have been brought up in a way whereby you think that being a man is providing and yeah. and, and that's, that's, that's be, what it is, be, being being the main breadwinners being tough, being tough and that. and what I've yeah. learned from, from my relationship, what I've learned, I've been in, I'm six years deep now, so what I've learned hold that the couple's in the building. Hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, but <laughs> what I'm saying is, what I've learned is, I'm talking about, okay, I'm going to talk about women now, so what I've learned is, I was alone for a very long time, I had a baby when I was 17, and I brought her up, so I'm, I met my partner when I was 27, and my yeah. daughter was already 11 by that time, yeah. and, and I would hold my hands up high and say, I was a very strong, independent woman. Big up yourself. And, and no, no, no. Ten times. Big up myself, no, but also course, what hard. I've learned since I've been in a relationship is also that men, it, it, it's, it's in your DNA and in your nature to be providers. But when you meet a woman that is very strong and very independent and makes her own money and, and really might not meet, need a man, it's very That's hard pressure. to... That's to, pressure. To, to certain both. man find that, certain man find that as pressure. So it's pressure. Because they, because they, you know what it is, especially in the way that we're we're living in right now. If man don't keep up a certain maintenance, then you can leave me in a second. Because wow. you're doing your thing. Yeah. So, so you know what I mean. Yeah, so it's fuck me. you know what it, you can leave me in a second. You know what I mean. Like there's, I'm always, I feel like I'm always competing. It is. Mm-hmm. Because it is. No, but and, and men they do feel like that. But it's just a mental under, thing. Under, oh, undercoverly, yeah. under, undercoverly, and as I said, yeah. man always forever going back to this raw start social media point. But because it's so broadcasted nowadays, you feel like a shit boyfriend if you're not keeping up with this date night and you're not I doing all the. By the way, if I, I do yeah. not care. So pressure, what I'm, what I'm constant what pressure. What I'm man, saying. men are under the spotlight. To keep, listen, even down to things like dressing wise, you lot can buy a fucking eighteen pound boohoo dress and, and a twenty pound bare heels. Man, good, man, man, man needs to be stepping in. Man needs to be stepping in. And Rothschild yeah. designer and money to be yeah. doing that to try and get. The, I don't step in. That's what that's what you actually think as a man. 
But don't get me wrong, women have the same competition. What I really believe is that women are in competition with women and men are in competition with men. That's just yeah, how I feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. When women do whatever they're doing with all this stuff that they're doing, like cosmetics and all this makeup stuff, they're not really going for the man. I'm dressing it's up for my girls. because social media has made them fool, <laughs> think, sorry. Yeah, that's that, what... That is what is, is acceptable. But I'm dressing up for my girls. That's what I'm saying. They may think, oh, yeah. Like oh he like we may think he likes that but it's the women that have done it. But then if you look at but then if you look at the demographics and they 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 scan into it and see that's what we're liking and that's what we're doing then they automatically assume it's what we want. Boy, I need to pick up my niece. There's a there's a tune out on circulation right now. So Ryan Kelly, No Shade, yeah. featuring Trina Six. Yes. Like said, they got the Super yeah. D remix Six as well. Right, Six it's singer. a proper thing, you know, literally. Go on Spotify, available on all platforms. You can Tune see the in. link for the, um, on, on Apple you're here. Yeah, you're, no, you ain't going to do that again, boy. You know, Jay, do it. Jay, do that again, boy. You might as well have got me. Yeah, he got me. I'm sorry, I forgot. We've never done. We've got the banner. We've got the banner. But right here, here, and here. Jay, please. Back in. He's not the banner. Back into the episode. Back into the episode. Back into yeah. the episode. I love it when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Back in. Oh, you haven't said the like and subscribe for I, time. I ain't done it for time. You know why? Because he got a bit rinsed everywhere. Everywhere I went, I kept kept on hearing. Like and subscribe. Obviously, a man's famous now. I was going to test. <laughs> got a bit heavy. No, I didn't. I, I did. <laughs> I know. I didn't tell you about the time I was in Lidl. What happened? What someone? No, the little you. It's about six, seven. He said, "Oh my God, Frank, can I get a picture?" I was like, "No, I saw mummy." <laughs> I <laughs> no, I said, bro. I said, little man, ask your mummy in it. And he was like, mummy, can I take it? Damn, it's mad. It's mad. Oh, man, but like me. this has been a, I, I like this it's been a, it's, it's, it's a deep one but I feel like it's one we have to as men we have to touch no, on it yeah it's so necessary yeah. it, it's so it's so necessary for as I said for even us to be talking about it on the platform like we do as much as we're, if we reach out to 10 people we reach out to 100 people yeah, right. get it off your chest bro it's, it's, it's nice for to, to be discussed and as I said we shared things that we might not have shared with anyone else but we've shared it to the world to let you know that everyone does have problems bro like it's not just you like, if you need to go to speak to someone go and speak to someone no one ain't judging you and matter of fact if they are fuck them they ain't, like it doesn't matter anyway because when it comes to that point it's you that's living your life so don't watch nothing yeah that's the main thing don't let nothing influence you don't let nothing get into your head and make you feel like you're not being the best that you can be because at the end of the day bro you can only do what you can do within your means whether it be you get up and make a tenner whether it be you get up and support someone by making them cereal in the morning or whether it be you get up and go to work just do you and enjoy what you're doing and just live the best that you can bro man i feel like i think i think that i think that yeah there's too there's too much things going on right now man it's, it, and you say there's way track. there's way there, there's a loads of things you see like this even this even this lockdown thing you know like men that are losing their jobs through lockdown and they're thinking i've got a family to support the forces like, what? All that. Yeah. like just obviously on the flip reverse like you never know that we're not going to go into that because you can never get internal in someone's relationship so you never know what's going on but like just think about the divorce does affect a man as much as like you might not think about it as much as it's very broadcasted that women yeah, go through divorce and like it's no, but affect a man whether or not whether or not like imagine offset and cardi b for example Who? whether that be a fake relationship or not that but that could you know what i mean it, no, no one in the whether or not whether or not you <laughs> subliminally know it it might affect the man like it might like just any just just because it's in like like Kanye West, him breaking up with Kim, it might affect him you mentally. Know what's so mad? It, yeah, it, it, it will do. Like even like even the way that social media now is portraying that Drake's trying to move to. Do you think that's not getting in his head, bro? Like as much as you might not see it's it, and true. Pass, pass it it's like just true. things like just just little it's things so like, that, like that. Like everything is a trigger for people to be in their feelings and just be aware that men do and, have feelings as well. You and know and you know what is, as a man, let's make it more open for men to. I feel like men need to make it more easy for men to approach them. Like I, I think in our group chat the other day with the chase lot, they I think I can't even remember what happened, but someone said in the chat. Um, if anyone's feeling down or anything, yeah. Yeah. Jeff, I think, so no, it was Jeff and, and Sam. Yeah, the man, like they the said, man, the man yeah, they said, feel free to talk to us. And I think that's such a major thing because even if you don't want to talk to them, in the back of your mind, you think if you get to that dark, dark moment, because when you do reach that dark, dark, dark moment, you do want to tell someone. In my experience, you do want to tell someone, but you Bro, don't have no, no. And in my experience, yeah, as I said, I. I was I was always fearful of telling someone else because of what what would be the like, I don't trust you that much because I don't know what you're gonna do with my information. You could potentially that that could be potentially my downfall. That could be the potential the end of our friendship because now I've given you precious information that I expect you to trust. I I expect you to hold within your heart, but you don't. So then now we've lost a friendship. So sometimes that's almost a pressure as well. Like if you you know what I mean. Like you can. Oh, it's so weird, man. It's such a weird, yeah, such nah, a weird hey. thing. Like especially with when it comes to like male to male. 
Like that's as I said, it's very easy to open up to women. Like you can you can speak to so girls. Easy. I think you can speak to girls very freely, and they they but they embrace it different than a man. And would. they hold it better than a man would. They yeah. hold that information about you, even if you have an argument. They know that that topic is so, or not even topic, but that issue is so deep. It's not even worth getting bitter about it and spreading it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, now, obviously, there's some men that won't do it because they know even the, even the people that you do fall out with. I feel if I did for it. I don't feel like that because it's so yeah. deep and you've come to them they wouldn't acknowledge it eventually you end up making up do you know what I mean honestly right now I feel like there's certain men in my life that I could approach when I was going through my gambling issue which and that's that's, that's part that's of mad. that's part of mental health as well yeah, I was, I, addiction is part of mental health as well yeah, 100%. when I was going through that stage there was only a set few like and we was would you, you get was you was you getting peas in the gambling addiction? no I was not <laughs> was it, was it mad? no I was not was it, was it little... Pay, oh, payday I'm losing everything yeah like, you, like without like fail that? like without fail I'd win some pay some what I need to pay off and then lose the rest oh, like it was mad, that man. deep and you see, with addictions like that, mad, it drives bro. you to a point where you think, fuck, I can't beat that addiction. Or I can't do this, I can't do that because I've got such a bad addiction. And the only thing, and I couldn't come to, I, there was only select, the, and to, to be fair, there's only one time I feel like I could go to a man. And uh, because obviously you speak to, to gambling issues about people and yeah. it's like, you can beat it. They, yeah, yeah. they don't know the, the deep, deep. deep and the thing, in this country, they don't, Offer you things for gambling addiction. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's just drugs addiction. Yeah, and the thing is, when you when you say gambling addiction, people are like, what man's addicted yeah. to gambling? Like, how can you be addicted? Yeah, to gambling? People really look like, at people look at it like as I'm jolting. It's not. It's, it's, it's definitely. Real. I used to get a thrill of seeing zero green. Oh, don't even start me. <laughs> don't even. I'm joking. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. I was just thinking. No, I'm good. I'm good. But the thing is. The, the thrill and the excitement of chasing that zero green and just hearing it, it the, the, the endorphins that it releases in your body, <laughs> the endorphin, aye, it's better than sex. Yeah, that's mad. That it's, it's mad I'm that. not joking, the feeling you get when it, but obviously, like I said, that's a mental health issue. Yeah, that um, is. And I, that, at that point, I feel like I could approach men because it, I could, because I'd approach women and that and they're like, and they I feel like I was more dismissed about it. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't understand like, it. Big like, up Stacey, but obviously, it, it went on for so long. Hey, big up Stacey. Big up Stacey. But it went on for so stop long. All this, stop all this interjecting stuff, please. But it went on for so long that, do you know what I mean? And I feel like she got fed up of it. But there's only so much they'll hear it because yeah. it's not affecting them. And then that's when you had to go that, to the and, men. And, and, and I think they... that almost boils back to the point of our problems. You can discuss your problems as much as you want, but if it's not affecting someone else's life, they're not going to embrace it. They're not going to feel it where you're coming from. Yeah, from. They're, not, they're not understanding it like you do, bro. Mm. It's not you that's, that's walking around hungry belly, whether it be that. That's not you that's facing them things every single day. Mm. That's why it's hard to be dismissed. And that's why I think it's very important to be able to share that and not be able to like just share it, like just share it and have an open discussion. Where it be you sometimes fucking just do it and put it in your group chat what your problem you're having and see the reactions that come from all ten of your mates mm. and be able to digest it because it, it might make you see a whole different light on the situation that you don't understand. That is the best way of, and that's why I think like things like the WhatsApp. Big up social media for the things like that. You can have constant contact. You can be in a bad place and just send something to the group chat. Like, Lads, I'm feeling Thank shit. You. And your friends can just send you something, a, a reminder of good times. And that can change your perspective on everything. Like, you can be in a really bad place. And, and even, your group yeah. chat might send something funny of when you yeah, had a, a mad laugh like, and you actually give it to yourself and feel like, you know what, life's precious, man. I feel like you've like, been through that this week still. Yeah, I've been through it quite a lot. I've, yeah. I've been through it quite a lot. And, like, and there's, there's constant reminders of why life's too good. To, a man's too blessed to be stressed. A hundred percent. And I think that, that's and, the and, main and, thing we need to think of, yeah, isn't it? That's, that's the main thing. Yeah. Man is too blessed to be stressed, bro. Yeah. But what what about the... Man's got one life. Man's got Man's got to live it to the best. Don't let anything else or anything around you be who you are. Well, obviously, because we find that easier because of our, the age that we're at now to think we're too bad. What about the people younger than us? Yeah, step out your comfort zones, my little it's not, it's, yeah, Step out your comfort zones, little bros. That there is options. Don't think that you can't get a job or don't think that you can't open a business. Yeah. Because what you're doing right now on the streets is potentially a business, bro. You're doing customer service. You're doing the invoices because you're paying, paying, paying people off. You're, you're, you're collecting. You're speaking on the phones, bro. That is, I could get you in a sales job where you could be doing exactly the same thing but selling businesses. Or you could be selling something that you'll make major profit off. But you just have to take it. It might take but, a little bit longer, bro. But there is different routes, bro. So but even the kids on the that are not on the road for people that are just in school and they still feel like shit because they can't go to mummy or daddy or they can't go to their friends 
there are options out there. There's like yeah, but people. Feeding, they're, they're, no, but the thing is, no, the bottom not, line is, if you're not feeding, okay, then just say it to someone not, yeah, before it not, before it goes good, to the escalates to that yeah, level. If you're not feeling good, stop bottling it up. Like mm-hmm. stop stop walking around with that brave face because not everybody can do that. We, yeah. And the thing is, as time goes on, you start realizing that people, not everyone's human. Like you might be in a workplace where you see your manager break down and you think, fuck, that was a bit extreme. Mm-hmm. But you, everyone has emotions. Everyone gets to that breaking point. And don't get yourself there because there's there's ways of there's ways of venting. And, and and whether it be not to say whether it be your people directly, but some people that from you might meet tomorrow might embrace you more than sometimes your friends yeah. would, and you might feel better speaking about your 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 problems with new people because they don't know you like that. So mm. and you can hear a complete different mind frame on it. Mm-hmm. So don't be afraid to open up to people that you might not yeah. know. You might have, a, for example, like you might have that friend that you never really spoke to in school, but you you've always been in contact with twenty years later. And you've been in contact, but it's never been that deep. And you just go to them with a problem, or mm-hmm. you speak to them, and you open up, and they give you a completely different perspective. Like, don't be afraid to do that. Like, and uh, f- from experience, it's good to do that. It just releases a. L- it don't release everything, but it releases a bit. And sometimes that bit could be the bit that tips you over the edge. But on so the flip side, yeah. yeah. But, on, but on the flip side, not to be a negative Nancy, but man, like your um. Sometimes people people feel that sharing a problem is a burden. Like if I told you something heavy now. I, I've almost given you my problem because you would now you might you might lose a bit. You know, no, but bro, listen, it's real talk because you know it is like I used to think like that. Like, bro, imagine you tell me something heavy. Like, I just done a murder now, bro. You've now told me that problem. <laughs> well, it's now my burden. It's now my burden because no, I'm gonna be. It's now my burden because I'm thinking about you. No, what's what's that. happened? What's happened? Like, are you are you about to get bagged? But, like, so if you thing, so though. you know what is like even even that's even, a good thing though, bro. Even, even even down to subjects like things like bro. If you call me and say, oh, bro, borrow me fifty pound because you know what I can't feed my kids or but I ain't got no gas in my yard. You just give me you just give me your your, your my problem. So now I feel like I can't say no because it's a problem. Like, what do you mean you can't feed your kid? What do you mean you ain't got no lights in your house? I'm gonna do that. Like you, you just shared a problem that maybe something you, oh, brother, so mad. Like that's why on the flip reverse, I get it. Like it's hard. You, sometimes some, you don't want to hear someone else's problems, but it all depends on it. All depends on like the, the scenarios. I think it's very hard to make that balance. Like it's very hard because, oh boy, it's mad. No, no, no. Do, 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 do you know what it is? Yeah, go on, let's go to the floor. Let's go all right. So what we're gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the audience now, and instead of taking questions from. No, Instagram. Listen, we're just, we're just gonna open up to the floor. So, so what, what, what do you feel so about guys, this? talk to us. One at a time, please. One at a time. I understand. Like, I would like to think that I understand the struggles that men go through because I'm with a man that perhaps might not have been the most saintly character in the past. However, now he's flipped his life around 360. We're doing well. We've got we've got a mortgage. Ooh. We've got kids. We've got a lot That's of kids it. together. We're both working hard. We're both doing the legit lifestyle. So, what do you think for our youth? What what can make it better? Because what I'm saying is is so as much as I love my partner, I see the Where trauma. Are you this? I'm saying that. I see the trauma that he's been through yeah. and also in regards to mental health yeah. it's like to me until you deal with what you've been been through in the past yeah, you have to you, 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 carry you, you will never fully progress yeah, but, how, how do, how, but how do you deal with stuff in the past though because I, I, I honestly I honestly I don't think, that is, I think you can deal with stuff in the past you've got to just build on the, the yeah, happiness that you've yeah, got in your yeah, life now no, but you should, you, I think you just have to address it in your own head you have to address your own issues. Like, if there's something that's bugging you, you think, what can I do to change the issue? Mm-hmm. As I said, something always triggers it. So you've got to be able to, there's ways of making change. Mm-hmm. Like, whether it be making time for yourself. Like, some people, some people get so bu- busy that they can't, there's no time for themselves. Mm-hmm. Like, even down to me and you, like, we're so busy with podcasts, work, living our own lives. Like, when do we get time to do yeah, life admin? No, I'll, like, I'll say, actually, I'll say actually, that the other day. Like, it's called I life that, admin, bro. Yeah, I said that to you on Wednesday. Time for yourself to be able to do life, bro. Because things do move, bruv, life is moving And quick. guys, and if you work as well and you feel like it's getting too much for you, book annual leave. Like, yeah. the, 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 even if it's for a day or two, Annual leave relieves a whole lot. That time where you can wake up and not feel like you need to wake up and do anything, it releases a whole lot of stress and pressure on you. Like, just book that off. Like, trust me, I promise you. Even I've done it. For the non workers, bro. Yeah. For the non workers, just lay in. Down. Put your line down. Have women, a day off. How can like, just we chill. Help you as women? Because for us, some no moaning. Are <laughs> no, but you know what it is. Not the no moaning. No, but you know what it is. For, for, I think for women, depending on obviously the circumstances of women, if you're my, if you're, if you're my partner, then. When it comes to things like arguments and stuff, don't ever question my masculinity. Because the moment oh. you do that, what, the moment you do well, that with... See, wait. Not, in question, 
Yeah. No, but no, but obviously, but no, but obviously, wait, 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 wait. Let me. Wait, 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 guys. Wait, 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 wait. Let range land. 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 Time is ticking. We are limited here. We are limited here. Yeah. All right. So boom. No, but obviously, yeah, girls are toxic. I know, I know. Wait, 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 guys, guys, wait. I need some order. I need some order. Yeah, no, no, he's answering it. Hold on. We got one question. We got one question on the ball. We got one question on the ball. It's about communication. No, it is. Wait, wait, one second. Hear what I'm saying. So when it comes to women, yeah, it's very difficult because. Yeah, because it's very difficult because, as I said, girls are very spiteful in a sense where you might open up to them and they might drop one little line about your insecurity that will tr ruin, that whole, that, will trigger, that will trigger your whole insecure, that whole issue. Now, I'm never opening up to you again. Because the fact that I've shared one deep, in eternal secret with you and you use that against me or threw it back in my face in even the slightest form means that you've done it, like you've now captured this information as a bit and of... And men will and, hold that, innit? And, and you've, now, you've now captured that as a bit of ammo. Like, so it's now going to trigger us and think like, okay, this is what you're on. Mm -hmm. Now I never feel like I can come to you about something as deep as that because you're now going to use that against me. Mm -hmm. Whether it be a financial issue, whether it be a, a masculine issue, I can never be like, imagine, imagine you be like, oh babe, imagine, oh, um, I lost a couple grand today or even in that road life or someone robbed me for five bags or babes, I lost two bags today. Oh, no, damn. no, I can't talk to you as a person. I can't, I can't speak to you and, as a person and say about it and you're not going to judge me. Like, what? Are you fucking mad, you idiot? You little waste, man. What are you doing yeah. that? What, you just lost money? And then we come up with an argument. Remember that time that you lost money? You don't ever talk to me. That, no, but he's speaking. He's remember speaking. You, remember, you little, remember you little gambling dick. Remember you, you little gambling dickhead. You remember you, little gambling dickhead, lost that money. The moment that you bring that up and I told you that in confidence, like I, w I weren't saying that in uh, being horrible. I weren't saying that to break up a relationship. I was just saying that to, to, to share my problem. Babe, I lost two bags. That's what happened. I'm sorry, like, I'm, I fucked up. Uh, you, you're supposed to understand that. Babe, why do you keep doing yeah, this? Yeah, you're Don't supposed to, to understand because yeah, you're, you're supposed with to under the wrong woman then, right? Of course, like, but, we're the, the, that's your we're, but we're not if saying. But, the person that you're but, with, they should understand. Yeah, of course, but that's not what we're saying. With your woman. Exactly, but exactly. that's. So but sometimes, it's all about no, no, but that's not what I'm saying. But that's you what I'm not saying. That's not. You shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't be, feel jeopardized by telling your woman something. You but shouldn't. but that's how men feel. Oh, but that's but but that's how men feel. Listen, listen, it's getting too wild. Are you not again? I told you. Listen. No, but this is good for the show. Guys, please, can we just can we just try and do one voice, please? I know, I know. Guys, can we do one voice? This is what I mean. Jeff, we're gonna come to you next. This is why women in the barbershop. Let me tell you about women in the barbershop. This is why women don't come to the Ross Clark barbershop. You know what I mean? Yeah? Yeah, this is why the, no, this is why the women this is why the women this is why women don't come to the Ross Clark barbershop. This is why they can't come to the barbershop. Of course you can. Say it, say, it. say it again, say it again, say it again, say it again. This is why women can't come to the barber shop. Women I'm joking, no, cut out. <laughs> I took too far. But please cut out be out. Um Alright, cool, alright. So no man in here wants to say anything. It's only the girls, fam. It's only the women. Kelly, Kelly. Alright, cool. We're gonna cut in and then go to Kelly and Ashton quickly. But it's gotta be quick points, it's gotta be bang, bang, bang. Alright, let's go. Alright, look. Wait, guys, guys, right, listen, please, yeah, please. All right, um, bro, this this topic's been kind of heavy still. Bro, but listen, everyone's got opinions on it because you know what it is? We're not here to be separating men and women. We're just saying nah. that the men's subject needs to be talked about a bit more because it is very uh, underwritten. But this is what I find as annoying. I said, like, as I said, like men are more. It's twice. It's, it's, a, it's a statistic that men are twice more than likely to commit suicide than a woman. Exactly. But this is what I find that annoying. Is, that, 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 is, see, that is facts. Yeah. You see what you and within the time of lockdown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Between the, the month of April and June, mm -hmm. eight hundred and like there's eight thousand and nine hundred and people. Eight hundred, eight nine seven. I can't even say the whole figure. Wait. Eight nine seven four. Eight hundred eight thousand nine hundred seventy four. That's the one. Yeah, in between um, April and June, that I commit suicide and that I'm male. Do you know how high that is? That is for in the, to kill themselves in within lockdown. But this is what I'm trying to say. But the thing is, this is why men don't highlight it enough because it's easily dismissed and and a, a subjective thing. A subjective thing about a woman is highlighted and 
not dragged on, but it's taken on a journey. And obviously, like, not to, obviously, uh, time's limited, so I'm not really going to go too yeah. much in it, but do you think Jazz got a part to play in things? Like weed, whether it be weed, other vices, like oh, people might... Like, but like, like I said, mental health because, is because anything. Obviously, because like, obviously, a lot... Of, not to not to put people in the bracket. Like there's drug, there's drugs that there's drugs that bring you to a really good high. And what, when you come crashing down, it's a very bad place. Bad so, place. And people need to be aware of that. If you're not in the right mind space for them sort of don't things do that it. you're doing, then it's Just not really it. the great thing. Like, and that is not not to say it's a common theme, but there's there, there there is people that that it gets to that point. And and if you know them people, then it probably gets there. Like even like even um, not even, I'm not gonna name anyone because it's, yeah. I don't think it's yeah. it's not it's yeah. not anyone's business what they were doing. But I just be aware of what you're doing in it. Weed. It can trigger things, other drugs can trigger things, lean, Percocets, pack it, yeah. whatever you're doing out there, know what you're doing because you do, once you get to a very good high with anything, there's always going to be the low. Can I so just, just know that that's always going to be there for you. So before, um, we, before we pass it back on to the men in the audience, life, li life is such a precious thing. And you see, when you're in your good moments, it's much better than the bad moments, much better. Like and that. life is not meant to bring you down. It's not meant to, I don't, I don't believe it's meant to. Like, that, like it's meant to, like earning money and being able to pay for stuff by yourself, pay for holidays, pay for your kids, it brings you up, it, it brings a certain kind of I'm, buzz to your life that you, 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 you could take and run with. I'm but, telling but, you but from funny, experience. No, but, see, but funny you say money. Like, but funny you say money that would, you, you you mention money when it comes to your happiness or when it comes yeah because money brings happiness well exactly. whoever says money don't bring happiness fuck off it's, it's what, straight fuck off because it's true I, I, money wait, brings wait, happiness wait wait, wait money before, wait before we get there like, mm -hmm. I know I look see the audience as soon as you said that comment but bro it's facts like see listen money brings happiness and and money brings unhappiness like look at the people that even met we'll just turn off that but the successful men well, wait, 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 money is a major concern. Like money when, brings everything. Money brings happiness. And when Whoever you, says money can't bring you happiness, you don't know how even, to spend even, it right. Listen, even if you've got money and the money stops coming in, then that, see that, that it itself, if you're used to money and your money stops, mm -hmm. you're in a bad way. 100%. Because you're accustomed to a certain lifestyle. People get accustomed to a lifestyle that... Once that stops, bro, you come tumbling. It's not even just a certain lifestyle. Down. In life, you need money to be able to do stuff yeah, with your life. On, that is able to progress. You know Someone's got a point that hasn't spoken. Can I just ask, if money brings happiness, why are there so many millionaires committing suicide? No, because, do you know why? Because they don't... Oh. Fuck. Don't you have the money to See where where millionaires commit suicide, yeah? It's because they're trapped in their minds. Money is a money, as I said, it is a is a temporary fix. It is what you go to to increase your happiness to make things a bit better uh, obviously there is look we look in the poor country people are happy playing football you get them a brand new football yeah. and they're happy for the rest of the summer do you know what i mean so happiness is success and happiness is what you measure it as. but see money it increases it it heightens it so when you're in that situation of being a millionaire money is only fun for a little while because you do all the things that money can bring and that you want to do yeah you, you, you complete it when you do it so fast you fuck 100 you fuck 100 holes you go to all the nightclubs you splash out they're not hoes. you turn up they're not yeah, hoes. you got drip. You're, not you're, 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 but you ain't got no one that actually loves you. You're but now hoes. you haven't got any. Now you haven't got anyone that loves you for you. And going back to that subject of being able to share. But problems, what about the people that love? No, you, you don't actually have no because. Yeah, because obviously the money makes girls fall in love. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you know what I mean. No one not really love you for how you are no more. You lose. You lose sight of yourself. You lose sight of yourself. Thank you, um, <laughs> Ashton. I'll take your question. But that's what I'm saying. But there's other things that come when you have money. There's other issues that come of it. It's only when you're securing your because there's not one person in this room that can say they'd rather be broke than rich. No, but of course not. Of course not. Inside of a Range Rover. Yeah. You damn right. You damn right. No, but what comes with money? What what comes with money though? Issues issues come. Drugs problems come. Order in order in order in order. Do you think these people? It's wild. It's wild. You know what it is. 
It's being taught. If you're not taught how to manage a hundred pounds, you're not gonna know how to manage a million pounds. And that's what it boils down to. Yeah, it's a simple fact. fact. The more money you have, you've got to manage it the same way you managed when you had a hundred pounds. I just wanna summarize everything, yeah? There is not one, and we're focused on our men's mental health because we're booked two men on our podcast at the Barbershop Chronicles. That had mental health problems. Exactly. Whether or, whether or not we, whether or not it's um, diagnosed or whether or not we've been to a doctor and they've told you, man's feeling this pain. Man know what's going on. Man knows what stress is. Man knows what PTSD is. Man knows the, the fear of going back to places that we've been, hearing keys jingle, knowing, that, knowing that's our freedom, the fear, the fear of medication, the fear of um, judgment, the fear of all these things. These are, pe these are problems that the whole world has. Forget your background, forget where you come from, forget where you grew up. You can have money, be broke, you can be rich, have the whole family, have no parents. Everybody has problems as men. And, not, and women, as I said, but today's about men, you can all have problems. Everybody suffers the same. We all feel pain, we all cry, we all, have, we all give our hearts to somebody, we all might have that heart broken. At the end of the day, it's how you deal with it. And don't feel like you can't talk to no one about it because you're being judged, bro. Forget being judged because it's only the person above or where you go in the afterlife that's going to be judging you. Like, my philosophy is there's always... It's, it's, it's you and it's you one and God, fam. I, I said it before in the other episode, fam. When it gets to that day, it's you one and God, bro. Like, no, yeah, you ain't bringing your brethren. Even as sad as it sounds, you're, you're not bringing your parents, you're not bringing your family. It's you one. You answer for yourself, yeah? For yourself, bro. Remember, ding, 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 ding. Can you hear that? That's range dropping gems today. <laughs> yeah, I told y'all. But any, no, no, but, but no, I'm just saying, no, it's just facts, man. I love, and, and man them, I love you. Like, bros, I love you. People them, as I said, even if you don't want to see me doing good or whatever feeling you might have in your heart for me, bro, I love you. And I want you to see you do good. Like, I love everybody. Every, I love everybody that's striving, bro. We come from, we all come from, we all come from the same, bro. We all come from the same fam, we all, we're all out here as one bro, like, bruv, listen, and that's, and as I got older, as I get older, that is the philosophy for everything bro, live together in unity and we can, like, we are, we have the power to overcome everything, yeah, like, as difficult as it sounds, like, trust me, man. as difficult as it sounds, speaking to one person will help your situation, because I'm telling you, if you tell that one person that you're going through a tough, 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 time in your life or let your boy rain they will they Call will me, bro you could dm the inbox bro, our inbox listen. and i promise you i'll dm back as i said like there's many there's plenty of avenues whether it be us whether it be your family but don't yeah just don't bottle just, it in just, don't bottle it up yeah just hear what we're saying and be able to take that in and just know that there's people out there that care whether it be people that you met yesterday whether it be people that you met 100 years ago bro talk to somebody because someone does actually care about you whether you might not believe it because of what you feel Someone actually does care about you, bro. Facts. Like, I facts. listen. Bro, this, yeah. This has been a deep, deep session. Yeah. Just want to be. And like I feel like, man. yeah, I feel like it's been a deep one. So if you've la you will last the whole one because it's so insightful. Yeah, I big man, you it's up. lovely, man. It's lovely to hear. As Everyone. I said, big up the follow, big up the fans, big up the yeah, followers, yeah. big up the regular, big up the regular listeners, big up the audience, man. All right, before we cut though, this was meant to be a different episode, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it was. Hold it on. was. I. Shout me, you know who. Yeah, trust me. If you're watching this episode, you let us down today. Yeah. You know what the episode shout was meant me. to be. Yeah, you done us shout dirty. Me. But it's good because I wanted to do this, but shout <laughs> me anyway. Yeah? I think I'm going to smile. But yeah, but what, what, what? Outro. So yeah, boom. As I said, subscribers. Don't forget, to, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It's Friday night in the barbershop. Every two weeks, we're coming in strong. Coming in Next strong. Next episode, you know the vibes. 5 a.m. creatives. You know they... Big up the 5 a.m. creatives. You know they're behind the camera doing the madness. You know the vibes. Hold tight the audience. Hold tight the say, audience, yeah. As I said, if you might not know, we're in a real live barbershop. Real this life is, barbershop. This is, this, is, this is the realest it's going to get. And when things open up, <laughs> you're about to learn today. Shit. We've got to learn today. Yeah, but right, listen, Ranger, thank you for sharing your experiences. Come on, Brody. I've, I've been Ben time. Frank. I've been Big Ranger. You've been the 5 a.m. creators. You've been the audience. Peace. Peace. Thank you for watching the barbershop. As you know, we take a little break to big up all the people and all the things that are upcoming and the people that we're trying to support. So I'd just like to take the time out to big up Focus Info. Um, they're a well-being and mental health company. They've just recently started up and I think that is a, it's, it's really fitting with the episode that we're going with today. Um, you can get in contact with them via email. You can go onto their Insta page, which is at Focus Info 1. And as I said, to get in contact there if you need to have a discussion private and confidential, feel free to talk about whatever. You're not being judged. You're not being viewed like
just your information ain't going yeah no way as i said as i said what we've been talking about i think it's best for everyone to look into that if you've got a bit of time so yeah big up all the people then big up focus info get yourself locked in also the second one i want to shout out blueprint hq it's owned by my friend shanice althea um the guys so there's it's right obviously she runs it but she's got two people that run it luke and niall the guys create daily content for for people for men which is a safe space for them to speak about issues they face and focusing on men's overall well-being through finance fitness and personal experiences etc and also obviously we did we touched on the point where there was an accident in mitchum this week and um, there's a gofundme page that's been set up we will put the link in our bio on youtube yeah, um, so obviously i'm just going to read this quickly so i don't miss nothing out so um, unfortunately he was involved in an accident on london road in mitchum which took his life the devastation this caused, especially as only child was swift and tragic. We know many of you would like to support us to give Lou the send-off he deserves. Please help us raise enough to lay him to rest in a way he would. Um, the link is in our bio. Also, if anyone has any pictures of Lou or any music, please send them to missaab at hotmail.com. Thank you, guys. R.I.P. Lewis. Big up, hat, yeah. man. Love every time.